Uh, that's something that we are closely monitoring here. Uh, Ron Smiley joining us now to follow the path of this storm. And I know you were tracking it earlier this week, too, because it may come up north, impact us a little bit this weekend. Hey, yeah, it's actually in our forecast Sunday afternoon into Monday and Tuesday. Uh, we could be getting a little bit of an impact from, uh, once again, Delta, a Category 2 storm. A couple of things to point out to you. It's been a rough go in the Yucatan Peninsula over the course of the summer. Obviously, with COVID, most cruise ships aren't selling. That's a big uh, part of the uh, tourist industry in Cancun. And then on top of that, you had the big storm out this way. Also, right about here, actually a little bit closer, uh, just off of the shoreline, uh, you actually have a number of oil rigs, and uh, Delta is large enough, it's big enough that it's going to require that they evacuate all of those oil wells that are sitting out into the Gulf of Mexico. Sometimes that means that our uh, price of oil will be on the rise because of uh, the storm uh, that's moving through. It's currently a Category 2 hurricane, could even potentially be what we consider a major hurricane hurricane category three or stronger as it comes inland, but at least at this point it's expected to come inland as a category two big storm surge uh, just off to the uh, east of the system as it comes on shore. A lot of rain expected as well. You'll see it just kind of turns into a normal weather system. At least that's in the forecast by the time it gets to northern Mississippi. Look at those rain rates. That's upwards of four to five inches of rain and a big swath of Louisiana stretching over into Arkansas. Well, I'm going to have to call my dad in Little Rock, uh, get him prepared for that. Uh, we will continue to see rain showers moving in. Now, it does look like for us it's going to be kind of a narrow miss where we'll see some light rain setting up Sunday afternoon again through uh, Monday, wrapping up very early on Tuesday. Probably uh, less than an inch of rain region wide is what we can expect biggest totals are going to be down to our south. So there's your forecast with the rain chances there. I did stick in a 20% chance for rain today. That would be up into Armstrong, Indiana County if we see anything and it just doesn't look like it's materializing right now. Hey, 45, your expected uh, or your temperature right now, 65 is your expected high. Dew point coming in at 43 degrees. Let me try this again. 64 is your expected high today. Cranberry 43 currently, Washington 44, Butler 43. Catania coming in at 40 degrees also. A couple of clouds in that upslope region, but besides that, not seeing any rain off to the east. And we're looking at a high temperature today. There it is, 64 degrees, mostly sunny with the winds out of the northwest, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Break it down your day. Your noon temperature should be right around the 60 degree mark. We'll put 1 o'clock at 61, 63 at 4. And your seven day outlook 74. So back to the 70s starting on Friday and plenty of 70s uh, in the forecast, including Saturday and Sunday. Expected highs mid 70s.